time to clean out my closet and my life. Shall we? Okay, let's go. I've never worn you. You gotta go. That's a lot of jackets. Hi, hello, how's it going? It's Elena and welcome back to my channel. I am doing another closet clean out because it's been a hot second since I've done one and 2019 is coming to an end. Honestly, there's a lot of just stuff I want to leave behind in 2019. It's definitely one of the best years, one of the most challenging years of my life to date. I'm all about clean space equals a clean mind. And so I feel like cleaning out my wardrobe, cleaning out my room and just kind of freshening up the space is gonna make me feel a lot better as I transition into 2020. So I definitely wanna give a lot away. I wanna clean out a bunch of clothes that it hasn't gotten a lot of use, donate stuff, sell stuff. So like be on the lookout on my Depop coming soon. I kind of have like a fresh start for a new year, which I'm really excited about. I mean, other than that, let's just get on into it and start, start cleaning. <laughs> Let's get into this. So it makes the most sense to break it down by section, obviously. I've been trying to find a solution for quite some time for like this mess. I just hate that it's not organized with all these different boxes. It's just not cute. So I finally decided that in order to organize my purses, I'm gonna make the most out of this situation in this shelf here, make use of the space. So my solution to that is that I got a brand new shoe storage that's a little bit nicer than this guy down here, which is like kind of breaking at the seams, but I can still utilize this up here for the purses you know kind of still getting some use out of that guy so that means we're gonna start with the shoes first and go through and see what shoes i want to keep what shoes i need to get rid of so let's dive in so i live in new york as you probably know if you've been on my channel and it's currently winter as we dive into the new year so i already kind of stored a lot of my spring and summer shoes because i'm like i'm not gonna be wearing those for months so they're in a box up above so when it comes down to your items, I think one thing that you definitely should look out for is like, do you have just too many things that are too similar? So in my case, I have maybe one too many pairs of white sneakers and realistically, I always gravitate towards these. These guys, not as much. I got really big feet. I'm an 11, which a lot of stores don't even sell. So I often hold on to shoes that are a little too small because I'm like, I'll make them work. Like pain is beauty, fashion is beauty, fashion is pain. I don't know. These need to go. I just need to be comfortable walking around this. Like what, what am I thinking? Also, I'm sure I'll say this more than once. I am definitely a fan of the Marie Kondo method, which includes taking everything out of the closet and looking at it there. Because I think when you just like go into your closet and you look at items, it's much easier to gloss over things that you think, you know, you're like, maybe I'll wear it. Let me just keep it in there. When it's fully out of the closet, like on your bed or something like that, and you actually go through each individual piece and really look and be like, when did I wear this? Like, does it still bring me joy? You can have much better discernment. So doing that with the shoes. Oh my god, I didn't realize I had so many shoes. All right, time to take some out. She's gotta go. She's gotta go. Okay, this is really gross, but also very real. Something to keep in mind when you don't move your stuff. There's literally just so much dust. So I'm about to give this a real, real good clean. Then we're gonna switch out that guy for this guy. clothing and the way I'm gonna go about doing it I think is breaking it into section kind of like I mentioned earlier where I will grab like my tops and my blouses and my sweaters and by section kind of like lay them out on the bed try a bunch of them on try to get a feel for it and see if I actually like it when is the last time I wore this if it's been over like six months it's gotta go because that means you've been through the warm seasons and you've been through the cold seasons and if it's still not getting worn it's probably 
not gonna be. Another thing is how well does it fit my body? I have some stuff that I hold on to that's like a little too small or a little too big. So I'm like, yeah, I can kind of make it work for like maybe this situation or that situation. But realistically, if it doesn't fit, if I don't feel cute in it, it's not worth it. Also using the Marie Kondo method, I think it's good to ask like holding it and be like, does this bring me joy? Like, do I like the way it looks? Do I like the way it feels? And if that's a no, then you probably should get rid of it. comes to like bringing out the piles like there's already some pieces that I know I love I know what I want to get rid of it's more so the ones where I'm like do I still like you that is worth trying on to see like love these these are not going anywhere of something where I'm like I feel like I would have worn this style wise like two years ago but I'm like I feel like I've grown out of this style and yet I've been holding on to it because I'm like that's oh, cute it's a cute cut but realistically I don't know if it's my jam. Consensus. We got a few no's at the moment. This one I decided to get rid of because for a while I was hanging on to it as this like, ooh, it can be like cute, kind of sexy winter, like off the shoulder. Which for one, I'm not trying to have like a hot sweater look anytime soon. And it's completely unrealistic because if I'm cold, it's just, it's not gonna cut it. It's so short, it's full of holes. She's gotta go. Next one was this yellow top, which I very sadly only wore like one time, but I just don't like the cut of it on me so you know you just gotta trust your gut this is harder than i thought it would be also another thing i think worth looking out for especially if you are living in somewhere with a colder climate is seeing what summer and spring stuff that you still like but you're realistically not gonna wear for like five to six months it's time to take it out i usually don't take it out like this but i'm so overwhelmed Okay, we got this, feeling good. I feel myself like really wanting to just give in and be like, I wear that all the time. Like, let me just hold on to it longer. But I'm going to be strict with myself, get rid of more pieces. It's like, I'm strong, I don't need you in my life anymore. Also, I don't know about you guys, but if I have certain tops that remind me of like a darker time in my life where I wasn't super happy. You know, you wanna move beyond, you wanna open a new chapter, then maybe get rid of those pieces if they really make you think of like, like a certain person or a time they were super anxious. Oh, she's still cute, but I haven't worn her in a while. I'm gonna give her one more chance, but I'm only gonna be nice about that one. I'll be harder on the rest, I promise. one of those tops where I think it's just so cute. I thrifted it. Like I need to wear this to a like summer picnic in the south of France with some denim shorts and feel like a little 90s queen. But realistically, it's too tight. I don't want to believe that it's too tight, but it is. You need to accept the fact and move on from it. have those pieces that we love that we instinctually know that we want to keep and hold on to but if there's ones that you're not so sure about I would recommend keeping them out and then trying those ones on kind of seeing how they make you feel okay proud moment I just got all of my blouses and tops down to this section. To some people, this might be a lot, but as somebody that loves fashion, I'm like, okay, getting a little bit more slim with my pickings. So far, we've been through this section, which is sweaters, and there's a few dresses in there. These are all my blouses and tops, etc. And now we're jumping into the jacket section, which is a little bit chaotic. <laughs> Suede material, okay. Mostly this is a fit, I'm all about this little 
red detailing. This is like perfect example of a jacket that I've loved so much in the past, but it doesn't have a lot of wear. But I like it with this outfit even. Okay, I'm keeping it, damn it. <laughs> but I do know I have two different blazers that are almost exactly the same. I'm like, one has got to go. A few days later, I figured I'd wait a few days to film the outro just to like feel the newness of the clean closet. And let me tell you, she's looking cute. She's looking good. Honestly, as cheesy as it is, it really makes a difference having a clean, organized space. Like a clean space translates to a clean mind. It feels really good to let go of a lot of clothing that I know I'm just not really wearing a lot. Also, I'm not trying to like fill that space now with a bunch of new clothes. I'm happy with what I have. Yes, it's hard to say goodbye to pieces, but you honestly don't even realize they're gone after it's been a little bit of time, especially if it's something that really wasn't getting a lot of use anyway. I ended up filling like four Trader Joe's bags to the brim of clothing. So stay tuned because some of the clothes I'm going to sell and some I'm going to donate. So be on the lookout. If you end up doing it yourself, tag me in your Instagram story or something like that. I always repost or send me a DM because um, I want to see. So I hope you guys enjoyed and that was useful. Until next time, bye-bye.